little starfish and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun little makeup tutorial for you, perfect for Halloween. We will be transforming into Amphitrite, the goddess of the sea. If you'd like to know the full story of Amphitrite, then I will post that video on my second channel and I will link that in the description box below so make sure to check that out. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video where I will give you a preview of the story of the sea goddess. Real quick, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button and also subscribe to my second channel, The Siren Storyteller. I post videos every single week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the tutorial. You already saw me prime my face with the No Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul, and I also used the Becca Backlight Priming Filter just for a little glow. But I decided I needed even more glow, so I decided to mix my foundation, which is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation by Benefit, with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. I first blended it out with a brush so that I get as maximum coverage as possible, and then I use a beauty blender to smudge out any of the brush strokes that may have occurred. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium honey. This concealer is a few shades lighter than my skin tone just to bring a little bit more brightness to my face. And then I go in with another concealer to do some spot corrections for any blemishes or sunspots that may be shining through. The one I'm using here is by Pretty Vulgar and it's in the shade Undercover. To set my face, I'm using the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. For the eyes, I just knew I had to use this NYX eyeshadow in Mermaid. I thought it was perfect for this tutorial. And I'm just concentrating that color on the inner corners of my eyes. Now going into my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, I'm going into the shade Amethyst and using it as my crease shade. I knew I had to use the Varadero and Celia shades in the Reina del Caribe palette by Alamar Cosmetics. I focused the darker shade, Varadero, on the outside of the lid and then focused the lighter turquoise shade, Celia, on the inside of my lid. And this creates a beautiful ombre effect as you see here. I went back into that mermaid shade by NYX and placed it right on the middle of my lids to create an extra pop of color. Then for my brow bone highlight, I'm using La Costa from the same palette. The key to this look is blend, blend, blend. So here I am just taking a clean brush and trying to blend out any rough edges. For the lower lash line, I'm again using Varadero and Celia and just creating kind of like a gradient effect on the lower lash line with those two shadows. For eyeliner, I decided to use this Ciate Eye Lester Cream Eyeshadow. It does not have the shade name on it, but it is this beautiful multicolor iridescent cream eyeshadow that has a flip of gold and green and it's just really, really gorgeous. If I do find the name of it, I will make sure to include that in the description box down below. I also applied some blue eyeliner on my waterline and tightline as well. This one is actually by CoverGirl. Now it's time to curl them lashes and apply some mascara. For the bottom lashes, I'm using the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. And for the top lashes, I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I wasn't quite sure as to what to do with my eyebrows. I did lighten them with some concealer as you see here, but eventually I do go in with the same blue shades from the Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and just darken them up a little bit because I felt like there was nothing framing my face and so that's why I did it. I don't think I have a clip of it, so I'm just mentioning it now because in case you suddenly see some eyebrows appear, that's what happens. You can't have a mermaid or sea goddess look without scales, and so I decided to get the stencil off of Amazon. This was a lot harder to use than I thought it would be because my hands are so small, they were struggling to kind of keep the stencil in place, and I also had to see what I was doing, but I couldn't really see what I was doing, so it was, it was a struggle, but we got it done. For the gradient, I started off with 
purple. I mixed two shades from the Urban Decay Electric palette. The purple shades I used are called Urban and Jilted. And then I kind of faded it into the two colors from Alamar Cosmetics. Again, those same blue and turquoise shades. I wanted the scales to tie in with the eye look and that's why I used the same shades. I repeat this step on both of the sides of my face along my cheekbone as well as both sides of my jaw and also down my neck as well. And then using those two purple shades again, I just kind of blended it in just to make it seem like it was part of the skin. I wanted more of a greenish tint to the skin and so I went back in with Mermaid and with a very light hand and a feathery brush, I kind of brushed it all over and it creates kind of like a greenish tint. You won't be able to really see it on camera, but in person, it added the perfect amount of a greenish hue without making it look like you're sick. <laughs> then for my face highlight, I used the Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl highlight, which is this beautiful purplish pink highlight. I wanted to contour my nose a little bit, so I decided to go back into the Urban Decay palette and use those two purple shades. Now for the fun part, we have some face gems. I actually got these, I think last year, from Amazon. If I find these again or find a similar pair, I will link those in the description box below, so make sure to check it out. I did not have a purple lip liner, so I just decided to use this CoverGirl purple eyeliner. And then for the lipstick, I decided to go with the Maybelline Vibrant Violet Matte Shade. And then I went in with a lip brush just to clean up the shape a little bit. I got these individual stick-on gems from Amazon, and I'm just using a mixture of colors, just any colors that match my eyeshadow look. So I'm using teal and purple and blue, and these are to kind of represent these scales. If you're going out for a long time with this look, I definitely suggest gluing these on with some eyelash glue just for extra security. The look wasn't glittery or scaly enough for me, so I went in with this iridescent glitter and just very sparingly put it all over. Adding this glitter really added to the glimmery effect that fish scales give off. Going back to the lips, I added this twilight shade, which is a shimmery lilac shade from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And then I went back in with the NYX mermaid shade and highlighted my cupid's bow as well as right in the center of my lips. I then started thinking that mermaids would probably be cold way deep down in the water and... <laughs> I started getting really technical with this look and decided to add some blue on the outer edges of my lips just to add to that very cold, deep in the sea depths look. And then I added this Shine Shot Maybelline lip gloss right on top to create a watery effect. For falsies, I used this pair, which I believe I got from Walmart in their Halloween section, and they had little glitter droplets on the edges, and they just reminded me so much of water droplets, so I thought these would be perfect. Now just add a setting spray and your look is complete! I couldn't decide between two of the wigs that I got, I'll show you the second option in just a little bit. These wigs are from Amazon, and they're not the best quality, but you get what you pay for. So I'm not sure which hair looks the best for this look. Please let me know in the comment section down below which look you preferred. I did also do my nails to match this look. All of the details of my nail polish, to the makeup, to the wigs, everything will be listed in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween! Though it took some convincing, I decided to go back and accept Poseidon's offer and became his wife.
That dolphin sure has a silver tongue. I wouldn't consider our marriage happily ever after. He had numerous affairs with goddesses and mortals alike. And that sea nymph, Scylla, who he was infatuated with. Ugh! Well, I took care of her.